Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another recording from my read-through of Karl von Clausewitz's On War, book one. We are right now in the chapter, What is War? And I read two sections for this recording. The sections are called The Aim is to Disarm the Enemy and Utmost Exertion of Powers. Now, I'm not going to summarize the text. I'm just going to give you the conclusions. If you want to read the corresponding text, there's a link in the description that you can follow. My business takeout from these sections is as follows. Basically, like war, life is not static. And in business, we are in constant interaction with the rest of society and the environment, and it changes. It's a dynamic living thing, just like the battlefield. So it's pretty much one-to-one -one in that regard. The context, of course, changes. And then, uh, from Klosowitz, he talks about like the available means and our strength of will to continue. Now, why is this important? Well, as far as I understand in warfare, you, if you don't have the resources, then you can conduct war. And if you don't have willpower, then, well, you are not willing to use the resources It's uh, that you have available. It's not much different in business, actually, because, I mean, a business has resources, either money, time, energy, employees, and other things that the business can use to run its run and do its thing, really. But then uh, strength of will would, in this case, be mindset. Because, I mean, if uh, like uh, the spirits are high in a the business, then people are willing to put in the effort, keep working at, at the thing the business is doing day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year. Now, in, and this is even more pronounced in entrepreneurship specifically because, I mean, there are not a lot of resources usually when a startup gets founded, but uh, uh, the, the startup is very reliant on the entrepreneur, found, founder, or co-founders to sort of put in the work and bootstrap with what little they have at the moment. And as long as stuff can keep going and the entrepreneur is willing to pouring time and energy into the thing, then the business can keep running. But in case the entrepreneur runs out of steam, gets demotivated, then nothing happens either way. The same, of course, applies in larger organizations, but naturally there are more people there. So there's someone else usually to pick up the slack in case like a larger executive gets tired. And that's where delegation also comes in. Now, that's not the case in a small business because if it's like a sole proprietor, one person company, then if the person stops, then everything stops. And that's one of the reasons why we actually hire people so that we delegate responsibilities to someone else because there's, I mean, only 24 hours in a day and we need to sleep and eat and do these things. So um, that's really the big takeaway here, uh, which is I'm really glad to see that it was already identified like in the 1830s. That it's like in warfare, resources and willpower are dependent. And it also applies even today. Some things are just far more timeless. And I'm really glad to see that the, this particular sec two sections have aged really well. And it's still applicable to this day. And that's why there's a huge in industry of like mindset coaching and coaches overall to keep sort of the mental landscape in order. And I'm sort of guessing that this will become relevant even 200 years from now. Mindset and resources and bootstrapping all of these things, the whole startup scenery and all of these stories we get from Silicon Valley and, and all the other places that are talked about at conferences. So that was the great takeaway really from today's reading. And I'll be back later on with another recording as we proceed further in the book. Hope you got something out of it and go read the text yourself. Perhaps you will get some other insights that I didn't get. If you did, do leave a comment and let me know. It will be interesting to see what that is, if it exists. Have a great day, take care, and I'll be speaking to you soon once again.